Good morning Aquarius, welcome to your reading. Let's see what we have for you today. Take the bits that resonate, leave the rest as always. Okay, right on for the sign of Aquarius, sun, moon, rising. This cannot and will not resonate with every one of you. Not possible, okay, so just take it as it is, please. Don't try and make it fit. Here we go. get to you in a minute mm. in the midst of making a decision Aquarius a little bit of confusion around you okay it's like you're waiting for an opportune moment from the energy point of view an opportunity has presented itself okay and You've put a lot of effort into yourself. You put a lot of effort into your situation and there's a lot of recovery here for you. And your patience is finally paying off. As I said, there's a communication and a decision in the mist. Okay. It kind of takes you aback a bit, but I'm kind of getting that you've got a revelation of your own to say to somebody. Okay, you're going to reveal your plans. All right. Now, you are dealing with a past situation. Okay. You've been thinking about this for a long, long time. And now you're going to bring everything out into the open. And I'm kind of getting there's a lot of honesty here. All right. It's something you've been keeping to yourself. Perhaps a lot of you are already in a situation, a present situation where you're living with somebody. You could even be married. You know, the universe doesn't recognize time like we do. It just sees an energy here, balance. And now you're in a situation where you are faced with a decision. Okay, the last decade or so has not been good for you. All right. But yeah, you're gonna speak your truth. Like I say, it's not a whim. It's been a long time when you haven't really known what direction you wanna go in. Okay, because you're dealing with somebody who is very individualistic, strong-minded, Okay, there's there's possibly very little leeway here with this past person. Things have been quiet, but now you're showing your own individuality. Okay, now, like I say, there's been a reconnection of sorts. You don't know their intention. You don't know if they want true reconciliation, whether they want to, how deep they want to get involved with you. I'm kind of getting, for a lot of you, you don't care. You've already made your mind up which way you're gonna go. All right, but, you know, you've been analyzing your feelings and perhaps there's another person in your life now, much more loving, much more caring, okay. Two very different people here, I feel. You are about to let one of these persons go. The Queen of Wands is someone you've been dealing with. Okay, this Queen of Cups is somebody you're dealing with now. As I say, you could even be married. But there's communication coming in from all directions, okay? And you're dealing with this in a much more positive way. All right, slowly but surely, the truth is coming out okay. and there's balance in this communication now it's like you're on the same page with everybody and you're thinking mm, what's going on it's not usually the case for me there's usually somebody who wants to argue with me or doesn't get me or doesn't understand me <laughs> it is what you're saying to yourself but either way this is going to end a long time and 
it's a time where you feel felt like you're in confinement. You know, you've been partially waiting for communication from somebody. Okay, the person you're dealing with perhaps is in a connection, or they didn't want to commit for whatever reason. But now there's a committal of some kind, and um, before we make big assumptions, okay, committed to someone is not necessarily living with them, nine to five, marrying them. Okay, you can be committed in other ways. You can be loyal with somebody. You don't even have to live with them. In fact, I'm getting for one of you. You actually prefer to live on your own, but be in a, but be in a very, very nice relationship. As I say, you don't know their intentions. There is this tendency to speculate. You've got options now. Perhaps an option you made or took in the past just delayed things. Okay, but it's going to come to the point where this new, you're at a crossroads at the moment, where this new road you're going to take, you're going to have to cut somebody loose. Okay. And you're going to come up against conflict, jealousy, resentment. Somebody's going to be asking if, what, if, why. You're asking yourself why after so long. Hmm. As I say, universal energies, karma doesn't recognise time. You may have been separated from this past person anywhere up to six or seven years ago or even longer. I had somebody contact me the other week from 35 years ago. <laughs> you, you just kind of go along with it. It's changing things and you're certainly evaluating where you are now as to where you want to be. I'm kind of getting not necessarily a change of mind, but you are re-evaluating. This person from the past I'm getting is coming back with a different approach. Hmm, finally reciprocity. You're finally wanting the same things. As I say, you're coming into peace and harmony. But going along a choice you must make. No, that's wrong. You don't have to make it. Because whatever choice you make or don't make, there's there's always going to be consequences. Okay, both good and bad. Not necessarily bad. Could be all could be all good. But consequences nonetheless. Whichever way you slice the cake, you're in control, Aquarius. Okay, these two sphinxes are now pulling in the same direction or starting to rather than going in opposites. All right. I'm kind of getting you torn between two places, torn between two people, torn between two situations. Hmm. But either way, you're going to get your victory. It will come with a price. A tag, so to speak. Emotionally, spiritually. But it's a big learning curve for you. But this time with this chariot, okay, and if you want to put a star sign to it, Cancer, don't drag the past with you. I don't think you will anyway. You've already made up your mind that you're not going to go through this again. We'll leave it there. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye for now.